on everyone welcome back to a brand new top 10 list yes you guys know that i'm doing a ton of these before the end of the year at least i'm trying to get them out before the end of the year this is the very one of the last ones that we're going to be doing and this is top 10 movie moments of 2018 now there are so many movie moments in this whole year of film that it was hard to narrow it down and there's going to be a lot of films that are missing. There's going to be a lot of moments that are going to be missing. But I had to bring someone on board to help me out with all these movie moments. And the guy who is here with me today is Cody Curtis. You know him so well from all of the Sweet Film Podcasts and everything else that we work on together. So, Cody, give him a, a hello. Hey, guys. How's it going? So, it's been a long time since Zach and I have actually done one of these collaborative type videos. Yes, we know we have the podcast, we have Google Hangout and all that good stuff, but it's nice to have at least a little bit of professionalism when we're trying to do this, but I'm really excited just to get this started. Yeah, this is going to be a blast, so we're going to get straight down to our list, and guys, again, let me know, if you guys are new here, hit consider hitting that like and subscribe button, tons of lists like this, tons of movie news, tons of movie reviews for earlier in the year, plus you guys can also check out Sandwich on Films, where me and Cody have both done reviews, we do advanced screens on that website, and you guys might get a chance to see, again, some movies early, so make sure to check out that website also, and please comment down below what are your top 10 favorite movie moments from 2018. Now, going into this list, there are going to be a lot of honorable mentions. So I'm going to give my honorable mentions, then Cody's going to give his, and then I'm going to give my 10, he's going to give his 10, and etc, etc, etc. So going into this, my honorable mentions here, <clears throat> the end of Vice. If you've seen Vice, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just going to leave it there. Mary Poppins, the 2D animation. One of these most stunning scenes of the whole entire film. Overlord's opening shot. That shot was incredible. The diving in with the bombs and everything, just amazing. The snap. Yes, it didn't make it in. Iron Man battle with Thanos. Not in there. Honorable mention. The wedding from Crazy Rich Asians made me want to get married. The horses from Sorry to Bother You. That's all I'll say. <laughs> the first action scene in Upgrade made my jaw drop. The Deadpool 2 end credit scene, the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse end credit scene, the pregnancy scene from A Quiet Place, and that's my honorable mentions. And now, just so everyone knows, after me and Cody are done with our honorable mentions, we will be going into some spoilers. So you haven't seen a lot of films on this list. Once you hear us name it, you might want to skip ahead a little bit if you didn't see that film. Uh, Cody, what is your honorable mentions? Okay, so you had at least a couple of mine. The pregnancy scene from A Quiet Place, uh, Thanos' snap, and uh, another one that I have is actually the, um, when, when, uh, let's see here, when Allie, when Allie goes to see, to see Jackson Maine inside of the, inside of the rehab center in A Star is Born. When, oh, that's a great one. That's a I great mean, one. There's that one. And then my final one on here, I don't have as many as you, Zach. I apologize for that. But my final one on here is actually um, when the, when Charlie, Charlie, the girl inside of Hereditary, when she smacks her head on the, when she smacks her head on the, on the pole. Oh, so when she dies. Yeah. yeah. Spoilers if you haven't seen Hereditary. <laughs> um, surprisingly, that is not on my list either. So that would have been a good honorable mention to throw in there for me as well. But now we are getting into my number 10. And then we'll go to Cody's, of course. My number 10 is the race from Ready Player One. Oh, what an such a good one. awesome race sequence. This race feels all that Spielberg magic all into one scene. Tons of Easter eggs, tons of excitement, and just tons of things on the screen. Ready Player One is one of my favorite films of this year. And... Every action scene within this film was just a spectacle. But the race sequence itself was my most favorite scene in the whole entire film. Now, maybe it's because the Akira bike is in it, and that might have to do with it because I love anime. But I just love that scene in general. It's outrageous. It's great. And every time they go back to there, seeing King Kong, seeing the T-Rex from Jurassic Park, him driving the DeLorean, it's just so much excitement. And I just get chills during that scene. Uh, it's a, it's a great one for sure. I mean, Ready Player One, I can't say it's one of my personal favorite movies of, movies of the year, but I will, it, it's a great movie. It really is. Spielberg came back with his magic and that race, the Akira bike, all of the references that make us nerds, us geeks, super happy and us movie lovers, super happy. It was, it was phenomenal for sure. All right. So my number 10 is... 
it's the opening scene, the opening five to ten minutes of A Beautiful Boy. That's... If there's one thing that I love, I love it when a film can not only set you up with the characters, but set up the tone, set up what the film is going to be about in just a really perfect light. The film does it in spades. I loved A Beautiful Boy. Not one of my top 10 favorite films of the year, but number 10 as far as one of my favorite moments of the year is concerned. It's just great. Yeah, no, Cody, I agree with you. That, that Oh, man, Beautiful Boy is a powerful film i love beautiful boy not one of my favorites of the year don't know if i'll ever watch it again but that opening scene was well beautiful um coming in at number nine for me is gonna be the bathroom scene from mission impossible what what a badass scene who doesn't love seeing henry cavill cock his hands like a shotgun just going to beat the shit out of someone i love this bathroom scene i love i mean honestly i could have picked my whole top 10 list could have been just mission impossible scenes in general but that bathroom sequence, when I look back and I have to think of one sequence from the movie, it's either that one or the helicopter scene. And when I'm going back through, I'm like, ah, that bathroom scene is some of the best fight choreograph of the year. And Henry Cavill k- kills that scene. Tom Cruise kills the scene. It's an awesome action sequence. It's an intense action sequence of that. And I just love the bathroom sequence in general. Yeah, honestly, I might also have a moment on my list from Mission Impossible, but I will say the bathroom scene, what, I mean, Mission Impossible Fallout is one of the, probably the best action film to come out since Mad Max Fury Road. It's just an adrenaline rush from beginning to end. It's, it's a great movie. It's, it really is. And in my personal opinion, it does give Henry Cavill his, his best performance to date. But, okay, moving on, my number nine is the father and son talk in A Quiet Place when they're by the waterfall. Oh, it's a good scene. I mean, it's, as far as I'm concerned, one thing you guys should know about me by now, if there's one thing I love, it's not only well-written screenplays, but it's also very, very important pivotal character moments. And the, the situation uh, where John Krasinski and this kid in the film are discussing not only not only the fact that they can talk in a normal voice there because it's so loud but also just because it's just it's an impactful scene that's really all i gotta say about it and it's one of my personal favorite scenes of the entire year that's a beautiful scene man just like a beautiful boy and a quiet place is one of the best films again of this year but we're going down to my number eight and my number eight for people who have seen venom the <laughs> lobster scene that lobster scene about knocked me out of my seat laughing. I love that scene. Is it really one of the best scenes of the year? Maybe not for everyone, but for me it is. It's one of the most memorable scenes of the year for me, and I absolutely love the scene. If you haven't seen Venom, look it up on YouTube. It's one of those scenes <laughs> to definitely check out. A great scene. I mean, Venom, well, definitely not one of the best made films of the entire year. Still a lot of fun. That the it's a good one it's a good scene for sure now my number eight is from mission impossible fallout my number eight is the is the reveal of henry cavill being the person who's running everything towards the back half of the movie it's it's one of those things where it's so rarely in cinema in today's day and age should we actually get very very good villain reveals during the course of a film Mission Impossible Fallout is one of the best villain reveals I think I've seen in, in at least a couple of years. And hen- not to mention the fact that Henry Cavill's performance on top of it, it's great. And even though he may not be Superman anymore, it's great to see that he can give us these kinds of performances because it proves that he's more than just Superman. And the guy's a terrific actor and this reveals one of my favorite moments of the entire year. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That was a great reveal. Uh, coming in number seven for me is if for Nicolas Cage and Mandy fans out oh. there, the chainsaw <laughs> fight scene. Who doesn't want to see Nicolas Cage have a chainsaw fight scene with another man, and it's like Star Wars but with chainsaws? I mean, if you haven't seen Mandy and you're watching this, it's worth checking out. I love this scene. I, I don't even want to go into full detail for some reason if someone's watching this and hasn't seen the film. But trust me, just imagine Nicolas Cage with a chainsaw fighting a longer chainsaw man, and <laughs> th- that's Mandy. Uh, first hour is very slow, but the rest of the film's just crazy. I mean, drug-infused. 
Absolutely. I mean, that scene, that scene reminded me of a certain other scene that happened in a game called Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, for those of you Resident Evil fans out there. But, yeah, Mandy is, um... Yeah, Mandy's, uh, Mandy's a crazy film. Let that, I'm not gonna lie. Mandy is a, a crazy, intense adrenaline rush of a film. Now we're getting into my number seven, and my number seven is the reveal of of John David Washington at the end of Black Klansmen. When he reveals himself over, when he reveals himself to David Duke over the phone, I love me some good comedy, but when you have good comedy with a well-written script and one of the best scripts of the entire year, it, it just came together perfectly. And I think, as far as the movie is concerned, it's a heavy drama. This was probably the hardest I had laughed during the entire runtime of the movie. And, yeah, it, it's just a really great moment. Man, dude, now I'm kicking myself in the ass for not putting that in mind. That is an <laughs> excellent moment. Great choice there. But now we're going to number six. And number six is for one of my favorite films of this year, and that is from Green Book. It is the KFC scene. There's a scene in here where Vigo Mortensen and Marsha Ali are driving through Kentucky. And what's Vigo see? He's a food fanatic. He sees Kentucky Fried Chicken, stops there, gets some, and it turns out Marsha Ali has never, ever, ever eaten kfc chicken before wow and what an awesome moment to see that happen what just the way that Absolutely their interactions go about out. is green one of the most unique of the scenes of the whole of year and it's really year. a heartwarming and film if you've never I seen green like book, do check just it out. a second ago i'm kind of kicking myself in the pants that i didn't include that on my list because there are so many moments up from green book the entire movie is worth watching and for those of you who are watching this just do yourself a favor and go check out Green Book if you haven't already. It's it's a really phenomenal film. All right, number six on my list is it's a moment from one of my favorite movies of the year, and it's the dinner scene between the father and the and the daughter in eighth grade when she's on her phone. It's just so rarely do we get films that accurately portray what kids are going on going oh, through yeah. in today's day and age. And eighth grade, I'm not sure how Bo Burnham did it. He did it perfectly, and this moment really encapsulates all of that. It's because parents, that they, they want to have great relationships with their kids, but it's kind of hard because kids are really closed off and self-conscious. And it was just, it's a great moment. It's a very revealing moment, and it's just one of my favorite moments of the year. What can I say? Yeah, dude, I'm with you. That's an, a great scene. I need to rewatch Eighth Grade. That that was a really good movie. I only saw it once in theaters, and I, I I'm kicking myself. I should have nice. watched it again. But going in, we're getting to our top five guys. Nice. Number five, number five. And this is from Suspiria. It's the mirror room scene, where Olga goes into the mirror room. And some <laughs> crazy dancing goes down. It's the one scene of the year where I sat in my seat, going, oh, 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 grabbing it's myself, a cringing a lot. <gasps> But it's definitely one of the best scenes of 2018. Yeah, I, I love this scene. It's it's not only a great scene, it's a very artistic scene and a very beautiful scene. And, and the way the film was crafted overall, it's weird because it's a film that's about two and a half hours long. And it doesn't necessarily... It, it is definitely slow, but... It keeps you locked in through the entire runtime, and Suspiria is great, and that's an absolutely fantastic moment. Now, my number five is the Doctor Strange versus Thanos fight in Avengers Infinity War. It's just, I love all the other fights that go down. I love it when the Avengers oh, are great, up great the choice. bug creatures down in, in Wakanda. I love the Thanos fight entirety, but when you have an ancient sorcerer a master of the mystical arts going up against Thanos who will not be stopped. It provided probably the most entertaining moment for me this year, if not one of the best. I'm with you. That That is <laughs> yep. one of the best fight scenes in Avengers. I mean, really, again, you put a thing out there. This whole list could have been Avengers Infinity War. This whole list could have been Mission Impossible. This whole list could have been Ready Player One. It's There's so many films this year. Hereditary, A Star is Born, that could have just filled up this list. And we always tried to pick only one. Ugh, well, that's where I get to my number four. Yeah. And that is 
from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse when Miles Morales gets his suit for the first time. When he climbs the building, and you do see this scene in the trailer, but for me, for some weird reason, I still got chills and goosebumps. What a badass suit, and what a just awesome animation in the scene, and the music, everything yeah, going on honestly, in that scene. speaking of films that could all encapsulate this entire... It's one of the reasons this film is amazing. Spider-Man it's Into the Spider-Verse is another one of them. It's it's amazing. And the fact is, I don't think a lot of people know that Nicolas Cage and uh, and uh, Haley Steinfeld were also in the film. And, and, and they were great. I think... Nicolas Cage as as uh, noir Spider-Man, I think may have been yes, my favorite were. character in the entirety of the film. He just made me laugh a lot. But great moment, great scene. It's it's wonderful. Speaking of Haley Steinfeld, my number four is the is the scene with Haley Steinfeld in Bumblebee on the beach. That is, I, I mean, I I love it just because. Yeah, I, you know, a, a, a buddy of ours, Casey Cosley, scene. compared Bumblebee to Lilo and Stitch. And I think this is the one scene that actually encapsulated that for me. Because it proved to me that he might be a giant robotic killing machine, but Bumblebee is literally the cutest thing on the planet. Or at least in Haley Steinfeld's planet. It's a great scene, and Haley Steinfeld gives such a great performance in the movie. It's, once again, one of my favorite moments of the year. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. But now we get to our top three. Top three, guys. This was tough. Oh. I mean, this was really tough. But my number three is, I am your mother, Hereditary. Oh, God. When I look back at Hereditary, even though the Charlie scene is very gruesome, this scene is always the one scene that sticks out to me. It's the reason that if Tony Collette gets nominated for an Oscar... It'll be the scene they play. She was phenomenal in this film. Hereditary itself is an amazing film, and that scene alone has always been engrossed into my head throughout the whole entire year. If you have not seen Hereditary, I know it's a film that's kind of getting mixed with a lot of uh, audience, but it's a uh, film that I do think I, is I worth checking out. But Cody, oh, Zach, tell me, you do you like this the scene? The What's your number three? And- Let's get to it. I'm an idiot. I thought about the Charlie scene. I did not think about this scene, which I really should have because it would have probably made it into my top two favorite moments of the year. I love Tony Collette in this role and I can't wait. And if there is a chance that this film will be nominated as, as far as a horror movie is concerned, Tony Collette is the reason it's her performance was so great and so unique and just so well put together. It's, it, it, it is raw, and, and it's a phenomenal performance. But my my number three raw. is the it's reveal raw. of Dakota. No, only because I didn't I didn't remember it. Wait, 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 I didn't wait, 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 wait. The scene this I is not on your Sus- list. I haven't seen Suspiria since. Wow, I mean, not Suspiria. I haven't seen uh, wow. Hereditary since. Wow, probably October. But that's besides the point. <laughs> but my number three hereditary uh and this was a surprise for me because okay. i have that's fine what's your number three but it is the reveal of dakota johnson at the end uh, of suspiria as as lady suspiriama or or however they pronounce it it's just it's oh God, one of yeah, those things where you build up idea. you're following this character throughout the entire course of the film and she seems so innocent and just so so being able to be manipulated by this environment and then by the end of the film even though it is a reveal there is still that question in your mind whether this is actually this actually this goddess that is appearing before everybody or if this is just the system manipulating her into believing it but either way as far as i'm concerned this is the this is the ending that hereditary should have been and it's one of my it's probably my favorite ending in the entirety of 2018. 
hey, I'm with you on there. When Hereditary falls a little bit towards the end, that's the, the ending I don't really like, but I am with you. Suspiria ended on a bang, and I love, love, love the ending, especially the epilogue act. That that epilogue act could have easily been oh in here as well. Oh, my God. But now we get into my number two. And something tells me we might be having the same top two, at least one of the same, and that is... Uh, Number two is the shallow scene from A Star is Born. Oh, my God. We see it in the trailer. I got goosebumps in the trailer. But when she comes up to start singing, she goes, Oh, I can't even try to imitate it. But, my so, God, she... Well, something tells me that. Woo! Amazing again, scene. Amazing the scene. Top two. Amazing because scene. Because What's your number my two? second favorite scene of the year is when... Allie goes on stage for the first time and performs Shallow with Bradley Cooper. It's it's a scene that... It's not only a great scene in the fact that it's entertaining and it's good yep. and the music is great. It's also a scene that really has a lot of impact for the characters and the entirety of the course of the film. Because if this scene doesn't happen, none of the rest of the movie happens. And the way... just A Star is Born is just another one of those movies. If you haven't seen it yet, find the time. If it's still in a theater playing near you... So, just make sure you make sure you go out and see it. It still is. It still is. They just re-released it. Yeah, so it should be. You don't. Um, Cody, okay. I want you to say your number one first. Because I actually don't think we have the same number one. So you go with your number one live first. Aid no, so from, go with your number one Bohemian first. Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, well, same number two. That's a first. So, the Live Aid concert from Bohemian nope. Rhapsody is it's not my number one. one. It's not my number um, one. I have been a longtime Queen fan for, for a very long period of time, and I realize that there are problems with the movie. But the Live Aid concert is not one of them. It is one of, It was and is still considered by me the greatest rock concert that was ever put on, at least for 20 minutes. And it encapsulates everything that was great about the Bohemian Rhapsody movie and the band Queen, and it just came together perfectly with the best performance of the entire year in Rami Malek as Freddie Mercury. So this was actually an honorable mention that I forgot to actually say um but it is the live aid concert i love the live aid concert it almost made my list it would have been like number 11 or 12 but i left it off to the side and didn't read it so that's my fault but my number one is the one scene of the year that got me and my friend the first time we saw it at a press screening we jumped out of our seat i'm not even joking we jumped out of our seat and screamed so so loud and cheered so loud and that is when Thor, Rocket, and Groot drive and head right into Wakanda and kick some major ass. This was not only my favorite scene of 2018, it's the most memorable <laughs> scene from Avengers Infinity War for me. It's badass, and like I said, it's the only scene from 2018 that made me go, FUCK YES! FUCK YEAH! And put in perspective, this was in a press screening, all critics, and two 21-year-olds jumped up and said, Fuck yes! Thor! My baby! And he's just throwing it around electricity uh, everywhere. It is amazing when they come in. Else I can add on it. Woo! I can understand why yeah, that's my number, number one. one seat of the year. It's a great scene. Yeah, guys, so that is our top 10 movie moments of 2018. I'm so curious to hear your guys' thoughts. So, again, make sure that and subscribe if you guys are new. Comment down below, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. And, Cody, where can they find you at? Coming up. You can also find me on YouTube by searching Cody Curtis. It should be the first thing that pops up when you search it in the search bar. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all the good stuff by searching underscore Cody underscore Curtis. So, go check it out. Let's start talking about movies. I'm with you there, Cody. Well, thank you guys again so much for watching this. You guys are seriously all the best. And until next time, stay classy.